a girl was gang raped murdered and a body was found burnt in a furnace listen into the details and the facts of the story a 14 year old was murdered after allegedly being gang raped by unidentified perpetrators who burnt her body in an illegal charcoal furnace in bhilwara the previous evening two other alleged rapes on thursday in udaipur in pratapgarh took to six the number of such cases including those of gang rape in the state of rajasthan in less than a week the troubling tally has left the ashok gehlot led congress government in the firing line of the opposition bjp and others ahead of assembly polls later this year that's the information that we're tracking at this point she was gang raped murdered her body was found burnt inside the furnace i'm going to quickly request the control room if they've got any reaction on this particular story uh, we do in fact have visuals from that illegal uh, you know furnace site the villagers gathered there there was proper protest the demanding justice proper cacophony in this particular area police is on the spot uh, and you know uh, there are also those uh, lines which say that you know do not cross police work up, up ahead if there's a reaction uh, the control room please do play that out well uh, we've been told that there is in fact no uh, bite that's come in so far but uh, that is the you know the illegal the, uh, uh, the furnace the furnace illegal furnace where the, the burnt body, body was the found one body was but uh, kabhi do you see that uh, in the last uh, few weeks there has been a deteriorating law and order situation when it comes to especially the safety of women rajasthan. in rajasthan right. and uh, the bjp has been in fact having its women press uh, uh, you know uh, its uh, women spokesperson actually hitting out against the rajasthan hmm. government over these issues as well and interestingly enough uh, it is ironic i'm looking at this page it says rajasthan incredibly spell binding ashok gehlot chief minister a big a big picture it says complete in. industry status to tourism sector up to 30% discount on electricity rates up to 80% exemption in ud tax a rural tourism scheme implemented in the state um, employment opportunities um, in rural areas rajasthan film tourism uh, promotion policy launched uh subsidy up to rupees 2 crore 394% increase in tourism activities i mean th this is this is what ashok gehlot is saying and this is what's actually happening on the ground now i'm not saying there are people divide you know divided on the political spectrum people who are saying that uh it's it's not just it's not just about these you know fancy ads that one can see about ashok gehlot and uh, you know rajasthan being incredibly spell binding but the fact remains is that there is something uh, that is the prime minister spoke about manipur and he you know pointed fingers on chatisgarh and rajasthan and congress Dhanshan. spokespersons came out and said that you have used this position again to politicize the event to politicize your speech when you should have only spoken on manipur you are not talk, pointing raising fingers on congress led government um, after that ever since that you know in the last one week we are seeing sixth gang rape and or murder case that's happening here women being targeted this is the 14 year old girl vargis how does one's gut not wrench well in this country i think kavir over the last uh, two months we have come across such cases and each time the cases in fact rise to the point where we find that there seems to be a lack of security for our women folk in this country no matter what uh, assurances come in no matter which government is there in whichever state there seems to be a complete lack of security and it is quite shameful that we aren't able to provide that security as well right and uh, uh, some news coming in from jodhpur as well it says gang rape case cops collect cctv footage from gudas house the paper city police of jodhpur district re reached sacked rajasthan minister rajendra singh gudas official residence in jaipur for spot verification in connection with the abduction and gang rape of two minor girls from pipar on thursday the police team collected cctv grabs from the camera on the residence main gate on sms hospital road and interrogated the staff the action followed the arrest of an accused who claimed that the girls both aged around 17 years were taken to gudas residence for a brief stay the girls had alleged that they were raped in a guard room or temporary shelter for visitors there and meanwhile the bharatiya janata party is continuing with its political attack on the gelot government ahead of polls slams police for its tardiness but what's really happening on the ground it 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 appalls me we say this country is not for old men old women for women for 
young children, for girls. What? Is, who is this country for then? Uh, I mean, <laughs> from morning we've been talking about violence and more violence. We've been talking about the situation in Manipur. We are talking about the situation in Nu. This we are talking about now these crimes against women in Rajasthan. I, I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's quite shocking that uh, we have nothing else to, in fact, give.